What is up, party people? Evan here from Stock Music Musician, and in this video, I want to tell you all about some of the awesome, creative, cool new ways people are finding out how to use Reason 12's improved combinator, or what the cool kids call the Combinator 2. First off, if I've left off any cool new ideas, please do leave a comment below and let me know what I've left out. In my mind though, what I'm trying to do in this video is say like, we've got all the stuff from the Combinator 1.0. I'm not gonna talk about that today. I'm really gonna talk about some really cool new ideas I've seen that people do with the Combinator 2 and highlight some of those uh, new creations. If you wanna go further with Reason, I wanna let you know I have a free Reason mixing template. It'll help you create much better sounding mixes in Reason faster. There's a link to download it below. And if you've got like more questions about the Combinator, or if you really want me to do a deep dive into the Combinator, please do leave a question below and I will do my best to make a video where we really go deep into the Combinator too. I'm just not sure if there's that much appetite for it considering the other videos out there. So let's jump in and watch this video. So the first thing I want to do is just thank Reason Talk. They make up such, uh, they host such an awesome forum for Reason users, and we're going to rely heavily on them today. Because if you want to get your Reason 12 Combi 2 patches, Reason Talk is the way to go. They didn't sponsor this or anything. I just love what they do. So you go to Reason Talk. You probably need to register to be able to do this, but you go to their forum, and boom, bap. Right in the top right, you've got the new Reason 12 Combinator section. Here you have tons and tons of useful downloads related to the Combinator, including uh, a Combinator 2 graphics asset patch that Propeller Heads launched, work at, workflow tips, um, and then all sorts of different Combinator patches that you can download. So if you want to roll your own, cool. Be sure to download these assets, which include just about everything. Go to this Dropbox and you'll see all the parts that you can put together. Um, but what I want to do here is kind of highlight the use cases. So the first one, and one of the coolest things I think you can do with the Combinator 2, is make a replica of your keyboard, right? Whether it's a Nectar Panorama, perhaps if you had a hardware controller, whatever it is, you could create a virtual representation and then map the keys and the knobs on your combinator to the actual keys and knobs of your real synth and it will be much easier from a workflow perspective to know that this knob does this and controls this parameter and all of that. Um, initially they will be skins when you make them but if you start saving them as part of your templates then you can have the full mapping locked in. Um, definitely just for all those pe pedants or pedants, pedants Pedantic folks, yes, that um, the Behringer Model D cannot be mapped. I was just using it as an example. Here on screen, you have a example of a Nectar Panorama. It's a great keyboard for a reason, and you can you know see how you could have all the function keys mapped here quickly and easily use them. Next, Reasonistas has been creating these amazing plugins. The red series, the silver series, I'm sure they're working on some other things. Um, but essentially, what it would allow you to do is open up these really cool pre-chained sets of the original effects that came with Reason and just quickly be able to access much more advanced signal flows and workflows than normal. You don't have to like load this, that, that, and the other. All your controls are in one easy to get to place. And so basically this use case is to remix existing effects or instruments in a way that is much more workflow friendly and potentially unlocks additional powers that weren't originally evident. Um, especially if you were to start getting some um, additional knobs that could control multiple features or have some CV routing behind the scenes. Next up, it is taking third-party plugins, VST plugins specifically, and normally in Reason, when you have a VST plugin, normally in Reason, when you have a VST plugin, you need to click the open button to actually access the controls, right? That's not great from a workflow perspective. What these cool cats have started doing is taking the controls from a third-party VST and mapping them onto a combinator plate 
and then nesting the VST inside of this already mapped. So all of the controls are easily accessible from the Reason rack without having to hit that open button. This is really cool. I think from a workflow perspective, this elevates the use of VST plugins a lot by being able to quickly and easily get to the controls you want. Um, unfortunately, you can't access the presets through this, right? You'd have to then also map out all the presets as combinator patches, but you could just hit open, get your presets, and then dial them in through this panel. The next really cool use case, I think, for Combinator 2 is the ability to just unlock specific features that are included in other Reason devices, but that were kind of a pain in the butt to map into before. So Loki here has uh, made a easy way to just tap directly into Thor's filter so that you can use it on other instruments, just without having to go through all the routing and deal with Thor. This is a big panel, big knobs, easy to start tweaking, get all of the features you want easily. Uh, this also, there's good ones for some of the hidden effects in Kong for tapping into, you know, you could do this for um, Echo's got that break breakout section. There's a lot of various reason devices that actually have hidden effects. Um, and I've done a video on that previously, but using these Combinator 2 patches to really unhide those effects and make them front and center and super accessible, I think is a brilliant idea. Um, so salute to you, Loke, for this. Um, and it's a beautifully designed pattern uh, or combinator as well. And the final cool idea I've seen for unique new ways to do things with Combinator 2 is by having scales. This one here is guitar scales. And as you move up and down, you can have different, you know, keys, different chords. And I think this is a great idea of storing a lot of information in a graphical way that you could sort through easily. You could do this with piano chords, you know, whatever it is, um, inversions, and just have them all in there and ready to cycle through. And it would stay with the track, which is cool, right? Like, instead of having to always open another document, like at the very top of your rack, you could have like, all right, C sharp, you know, major whatever and all the notes would be there and then you would know instantly if you went to go pick up your song after a while oh this song was in c sharp that's right and these are all the keys and notes that work for that so i i think this is a really cool idea um these are some of the favorites i've seen of the new use cases for the combinator 2. in addition obviously you can do incredibly advanced routing and have parameters modulate other parameters uh do interesting things throughout their ranges, create really advanced effects, create bigger presets. You can do better layering for live instruments, all of that. But uh, those are sort of Combinator 1.0 ideas. And I just wanted to highlight these Combinator 2.0 ideas for you, share them, hopefully inspire you to create new Combinators, uh, hopefully you know, inspire you to download some new Combinator patches and maybe elevate your game, hook you up with some free stuff and let you know where the best resource is for Combinator 2 stuff, which is Reason Talk. Like I said, if you've got any suggestions or comments about Combinator 2 patches and use cases, please do leave a comment below. I will be happy to share those, maybe make a follow-up video on this, um, maybe do a deep dive video into the Combinator 2 if that's what people are looking for. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and don't forget to download that Reason Mixing template because it's really, really useful for speeding things up. Bye.